What is YouTube certified? Is it legit and does it actually indicate that somebody knows what they're talking about when it comes to YouTube? Is YouTube certified something you should pursue so that you can learn more about the platform? I know all the answers to these questions because I've been a part of YouTube Certified since the early days of the program, thousands of years ago with ancient YouTube certifications that don't really matter anymore. I have audience growth from, I think it was like four or five years ago. And I've been a part of this educational initiative with YouTube because I co-founded the number one gaming network on YouTube, TGN. And I also work for the currently the largest network on YouTube, Broadband TV. And through this company, I was able to, and I'll show you the YouTube certified website right here. You're able to, through a company, go through these certification programs because they want companies to understand their platform and they want companies to understand how they're thinking about their platform. So is an individual like me certified in terms of YouTube? So this is something that you should be taking a look at. Anytime anybody claims to be YouTube certified, you need to look and see if they publicly display their certification somewhere. If they don't, maybe they only have an ancient certification like the one from four or five years ago I told you about, or they only have one of the four YouTube certifications you should have to be fully versed officially in YouTube. So those certifications include content strategy, there's also channel growth, there's also content ownership, and there is asset monetization. Those are the programs that are currently being run by YouTube uh, that makes you fully YouTube certified. You should select the program that is appropriate to the type of work that you're going to be doing. Anybody who wants to be more fully versed in YouTube should do all four. But keep in mind that YouTube certification is primarily YouTube's opportunity to tell you as an individual or a company or an advertiser or a creator what YouTube thinks about YouTube. So you'll learn how YouTube views itself, how YouTube views content strategy, how YouTube views audience growth or asset monetization or how rights work, etc. And they're trying to educate you on their language about their platform. And through YouTube certified, YouTube sells you on YouTube as a platform and why you should be using it. So keep that in mind. It has multiple purposes for YouTube. Primarily, it's to educate people on how their platform works, but also the secondary part is selling people on using YouTube and telling them about how great it is through this education program. So the question is, is YouTube certified legit? Does it mean that you know your stuff? Well, there's two types of knowledge in this world. There is academic knowledge, and then there is knowledge of experience. So to use an analogy, you're a college student and you just graduated and you have a degree in marketing. Congratulations. Unfortunately, you have a lot of debt now. You go apply for a social media job somewhere at some company and you say, I'm going to operate your socials. Here's why I'm qualified. I have this degree in marketing. Well, are you qualified to do that job? Well, you have the academic knowledge that you learned in school, but... Have you been professionally managing social media? Have you been running advertising? Do you know how to build a content strategy properly and have you tested them yourself? Have you tested multiple versions of copy on your posts and do you know A-B testing and do you know how to adopt a brand voice and to make a brand successful by using the right voice to target the right audience, etc., etc.? Two different types of knowledge there. You got the piece of paper, you got the academic knowledge, but you don't have the experience necessarily to prove that you know what you're doing. YouTube certification's the same way. And in my opinion, knowledge of experience is far more valuable than academic knowledge when a field changes as often as online video and social media and YouTube. I mean, the machine learning algorithm changes YouTube every day. <laughs> and new features are implemented every quarter on the platform. And the whole online video space changes monthly. So knowledge of experience is incredibly important. So for example, I'm YouTube certified. Should you listen to me? That's maybe a sliver of why you should listen to me, maybe 10%. But the other 90% should be what that person has accomplished on YouTube. And that should be the main reason why you should listen to them. Like my accomplishments would include, I've produced 5,000 YouTube videos that have gotten over a billion views. Cool. I've launched and successfully run multiple profitable YouTube channels with tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, and millions of subscribers. Cool. 
I co-founded the number one gaming network out there with tens of thousands of creators getting billions of views per month. Okay, so those are my accomplishments that I can tell you. So 10% would be that I'm YouTube certified. 90% of the reason why you should listen to me are those accomplishments. I'm not telling you that to brag on myself. I'm telling you that so that when you see other people with YouTube certified on their profile, what the have they actually done? That makes them qualified to tell you how YouTube works and to advise you. How long have they been doing this? Did they just start last year? I've been doing this for nine years. Do they have that knowledge of experience? Do they have that historical context on how YouTube started and how it's progressed to tell you whether history is going to repeat itself on YouTube or not? Those are things you need to look at when you're looking at people and companies that say that they're YouTube certified. Check and see if they have that actual certifications and you can see them, make sure they have all four, and then see what they've actually accomplished on YouTube to determine whether they're credible or not. That's my recommendation. The other part is, should you become YouTube certified and does it matter? I recommend that everybody become YouTube certified. Just Google it, how to become YouTube certified. See if you can register as an individual and take the courses. At the very least, Even if you don't learn any new facts about YouTube, you will learn how YouTube thinks about YouTube and how YouTube is selling itself and positioning itself through those educational materials. That context can help you become more successful on the platform and can help you better understand how they think about creators, advertisers, and themselves because all three of those pieces are important and all three of those pieces are included in the YouTube certification program. I hope that was helpful. I hope I kept it real with you on that one because I I do think, honestly, being YouTube certified doesn't mean you actually know what you're talking about on YouTube. Real talk. Cool. So if you're interested in getting one-on-one coaching from someone who thinks he knows a lot about YouTube, there's a link in the description below. I help out creators and entrepreneurs and small businesses become more successful on this platform. Sure, I'm YouTube certified, but I think I can help you because I've been helping creators for quite a long time. Knowledge of experience is more important than academic knowledge, but don't ignore academic knowledge and don't leave behind opportunities to get that academic knowledge. Google had to become YouTube certified right now. It's worth your time.